Um, the advantage to creating republics, I mean, Kimo's not, Kimo's, he's, he's, he's right that there are some issues with it, but um, the advantage to making a republic is that they create a huge amount of income, um, especially once they get going. Uh, and once you, if you have, for example, we have a large city taxation. So we actually pull off 35% of any republic vassal's income. So if we have a vassal who is a republic, um, we're just going to scrape 35% of their income off the top, which can be a huge amount of money. Like, it could be more money than we make as a, uh, as a kingdom um, from our own demetes. So, because they make money from their cities, they make a lot of money from cities, and then they make a lot of money from trade posts is the real thing that they make their money from. So, um, you know, if you're scraping 35% off of what a republic already makes, you can, like, basically double your kingdom's income. So that's why you can consider, why it's sometimes worth considering. Now, relations-wise and vassal-wise, it creates some tricky problems. Potentially. You're basically creating a sub-realm within your realm, which doesn't follow the same laws as the rest of your realm. Hey, Madaba has turned Catholic. That's good. We're actually getting there on this uh, on this jihad. I think maybe now we're going to launch these guys. See if we can't take care of this army. Are they going to try to come to Arsuf? Yeah, they are. Which war are we going to win first, our civil war or the jihad? That's the question. Okay, I'm actually going to bring these troops over, too, because they have actually more there than I thought they did. We're winning the sieges up here, but it's just taking a while. Three comments in a row. Ruff. Ruff. Trust me, as much as it annoys you guys, it annoys it annoys me too. It annoys me as much. I I don't even know what you're writing, but it it's uh it's unfortunate that that's happening. I will definitely I will definitely dig further, dig deeper to try to find out. So you can keep them separate from your other vassals. Uh, this was. Uh, Mr. Arrows, the other day when we uh, when we successfully completed our crusade for Greece, we created Crete as a uh, as a republic. Exactly. So like an island duchy, as Kimo is saying. So that way they won't eat your other provinces. The the danger of having them, especially if you don't have a high enough crown authority to prevent this, the danger of having them in like uh, a connected part of your empire is that they're like they're they get really easy Cassius belly to take cities and then to take counties within wherever they're close to. So, um, and if they have land, you know, if they can get across by land, then it's a lot easier for them. So, for example, if, like, we made a, Dutch, a, a merchant out of Constantinople, for example, they would easily be able to create trade posts in all of these nearby, cheaply and easily create trade posts in all of these nearby places, which would give them a free Cassius belly against every single one of these provinces. Uh, and whoever's ruling those provinces, and then they could take each of those provinces, and then what? Or they take a city rather. They get the city from the province. But once they have the city, then they also get a Cassius Belly, a free Cassius Belly, to take the entire province. So uh, it it ends up meaning they can expand really quickly and really easily with really cheap Cassius Bellies. They don't have to fabricate claims. They don't have to marry to get titles. They can just expand and expand and expand with these free trade Cassius Belly that they get. Um, and if you don't have the crown authority to prevent that from happening inside your realm, or, you know, you, we had an event where we had to lose our crown authority, they can just, like, take over your kingdom, and because of their income, their ability to hire mercenaries, the ability to expand, they can get to a point where, yeah, they're providing you 35% of their income, but they can easily win an independence war, they could depose you, they can lower your crown authority, they end up being the de facto power in your kingdom if you let them get out of hand. Um, that's the danger of them. You know, 
I mean, I think Pisa, for example, Pisa in this save, I believe Pisa actually starts in this save as a vassal, but they're not a vassal right now, and they're actually extremely powerful. Um, the Holy Roman Empire is clearly the most powerful nation in this save right now, and we're probably second, honestly. But I would actually say, even though Pisa looks like they're kind of small, they're probably third or fourth. You know, if you, if you, just, if you just had to fight a war... You take whatever countries are in here right now and have them fight a war head to head. I would give Pisa odds over almost anybody else, um, because of their economy, especially if a human player was playing them. Because of their economy, I'm sure they just have an absurd, obscene amount of money. Um, because they have, if we go to the trade zone, you can see, like this right here, is for for ac across all of the patrician families of Pisa probably is adding up to i would estimate across all all four of the patrician families 300 to 400 uh, ducats a month probably that their trade control on top of what they get from their provinces so that's a lot of money I mean, and think about i mean we have we have a monthly balance income of 53 ducats a month so that, I mean, even if it's like 300, even if it's the lower end of that estimate of mine, even if it was only 200, that's still quadruple what we make per month. So Republic's basically the short, the short, the TLDR, the TLDL, didn't listen, is uh, Republic's have so much money and are a little OP. <laughs> uh, in fact, the, some of the Republic, they can create king titles, but it doesn't achieve anything for them. They are duke level titles. Um, but it actually doesn't help them to create king level titles. But being duke level titles actually helps them in some ways because they don't have this problem where their vassals uh, hate them because they're kings. <laughs> 